Let's walk through the steps of importing a pre-built Islandora virtual machine. I'm using VirtualBox in a Mac environment, but the general principle will be the same in Windows and other environments. I could import the file through VirtualBox, but instead I'm going to go find the OVA file itself. I'll double click and VirtualBox is going to open it up for me. All this information is editable, but we'll ignore that for now and we're just going to install. So this will take a few seconds. I'll speed up the video feed here a, a bit so we don't have to sit here and watch. And voila. So now we have a second virtual machine installed and to get it actually running so I can use it, we just highlight it, say start. You see this virtual terminal pop up and run through the process. And we'll know we're ready when we see this login prompt. We don't actually need to log in here. This just tells us that the machine is running and we can go to the browser of our choice and go to localhost 8000. Since this is the very first time that this virtual machine has been started up, it's going to take a minute to unpack its toys. But once it's ready, we have a new clone of my island or our test site, including some of the customizations I'd already made. And everything is the same right down to the login information. So when I log in as admin with password Islandora, I'm ready to start experimenting again. For more information about Islandora, including documentation, downloads, and an online sandbox where you can try it out for yourself, please visit us at islandora.ca.